after I inject, I was totally dead. My mom began to scream. Nothing helped. It was too late. Alex Prozvetov grew up in Russia. His father died when he was 12, and his mother worked hard to support the family during the Cold War. One life is in your house with your parents. You are a good guy. And second life is real life. I couldn't uh, trust nobody. All the time I tried to protect myself. On the street, Alex turned to extortion just to make it from day to day. But he took more than money from one victim. He took the heroin he was carrying. Alex decided to try it for himself. I never feel like, like this before. And for me, it was amazing. It wasn't long before drugs consumed his life. Three highs per day became routine. In the morning when I wake up, I try to find money for drugs. Uh, when I find it, I buy drugs and use it. And this is, was non-stop, non-stop, every day, every hour. It was bigger than me. Alex tried several times to stop using drugs, but was unsuccessful. He even met with a doctor who was an expert on drug addiction. He told Alex there was no hope. If guy who have a really big position in medicine from Moscow said medicine can't help you, I understand, I understood. This is my finish. I feel totally broke inside. I just begin to uh, use my drugs more and more and more. Alex gave up on himself, but his mother did not. She began attending church regularly and invited ministers over to talk with him. One minister invited Alex to enroll in a Christian drug rehabilitation center. I didn't think they want to help me. I thought uh, they want money from my family. Uh, only for my mom, I said, yes, yes, of course. When Alex arrived at the center, he had no idea what would happen. When they begin to pray for me, I just feel normal, no, no pain. His withdrawals were gone, and he began sleeping better than ever. Alex suspected the rehab center was putting medication in his food, but couldn't find anything. The third day, the, and this is the most painful day, and, but I feel good. For drug addiction people, without pain uh, medicine, without drugs, without sleep medicine, this is impossible. I accept this is, uh, was God. After three days with no withdrawals, he thought his addiction was over. Alex dropped out of the six-month program, went home, and lit up a cigarette. After I smoked the cigarette, all my withdrawals come in. I tried God's way, and I think I disappointed him. I thought I could never come back to him. It was my last hope. He bought a large dose of heroin and injected himself. His mother came home and found Alex on the floor. I was totally dead. It was too late. I don't remember what happened, but my mom told me about it. And when they want to cover my body, one guy, he was a pastor, asked my mom, if you want to, I can pray for your son. And they began to pray, God, how you resurrect your son, Jesus Christ. Please resurrect this young man in the name of Jesus. When he say amen, I began breathing. I didn't want to come back to life because I was tired uh, from drugs, from my lifestyle. Still, Alex says he knew it was God who brought him back to life. He wanted to learn more about this God. So Alex read the Bible. This is Bible told about me. It's like God, God's voice told me. I feel amazing love, amazing forgiveness from the same God who helped me two weeks ago. I give my whole life to God. I feel 
unbelievable peace in my life. I can't explain you how I feel, but I begin to cry. I ask God about what I have to do in my future, who I am, why He resurrect myself, and what He want from me. I feel like He wanted me to uh, come back to rehabilitation center. God wanted me to know uh, Him more. Alex returned to the center. My father died when I was 12, and all the time I try to find fathers. When I meet with God, I begin my new life with my father. Somebody care about me, somebody think about me. I can't trust God 100%, my feeling, my needs. Today, Alex lives in the U.S. with his family and helps others struggling with drug addictions. He also pastors the Father's House Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. I believe my favorite part of ministry when I see when I see fruits. After one month, two months, three months, they are strong men uh, or women. I love my God. He saved my uh, life, my physical life. If God can change my life, they can change another lives.